Hello and welcome to another budget and leg it video. Now we have the new launch CRP 429C scan tool in front of us. I've had this for a few weeks, been messing around with it. I will be doing a more in-depth video in this. It's just I quickly plugged it into this car with a 2009 Ford Mondeo 1.8 diesel <clears throat> and the engine light came on. So what I'm going to quickly do uh, is not do that. Go out of there. Now, when you turn this on, this does do an automatic scan, which I've already done. I just want to get out of there just to show you what it does. So let's just get out of there, go quit. So let's just go auto detect. Now, obviously, this will only do this on certain cars in certain years, but you can do it manually as well. So we'll just go OK. And it does like a little health check, which I really like. Kind of goes through the main modules. It just makes sure this information is correct, which it is. Gives us the chassis number and everything there. We don't have that. It kind of does a mini health check. And as you can see, we've got a fault in the ABS. I'm not worried about the ABS yet. And it kind of saves that, which is really nice. Gives us our fault codes here. This is what I'm more interested in, is the P0299 turbo slash supercharge under boosting. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go okay with that. And we're gonna go into that module. So we know the fault code. Let's just go into live data. See what data streams we can actually get on this. Um, airflow. Battery. Even though we've got a battery meter up here, which I really like. Um, but I still always like to get my battery meter on there. Do we have any boost? Um, if I go, There's so many menus in this. Um, like I said, I'm not about to go through it all in one video. Map sensor. What have we got? Um, let's go through that again, see if we've got any boost. We've no boost in this particular, um, The car is driving perfectly. Um, it's not doing anything. There's plenty of power in it. Well, there's power in it, you know, to what I would expect. All right, let's just go to OK and monitor these. And um, the car isn't started at the minute. So let's just start the car. Another thing I like about this, when you do start the car, it doesn't drop out. Some scan tools drop out because for the second, they're not actually communicating. Um, Now, I can see something wrong. We do, um, as we can see, the uh, map sensor isn't, oh, let's wash me out. It's without getting glare on it. There we go, oh no. Ah, come on, focus. Now, see the bottom one? It's not moving. Should be moving. So let's go and look at the map sensor. Now, the car is still running, and what I have seen is what looks like some brake line, copper brake line, um, and it's not actually to where it should be. Um, and this is not even right, in the sense of that shouldn't really be there, um, copper brake line like that. But I just wanna put that in there and see if our readings change now. So, there we go. 
So we have different readings. I wonder if that was our issue. What I'm going to do is clear the code. So we'll just go back out here. We will clear the code. Code is cleared. I'll see if I can go through some other menu systems and get some. Um, oh, that's another good thing I like. You can go straight to the OBD2 um, section from this menu. I'm just going to go through these and see if I can see any boost um, PIDs and they uh, will take it for a drive. I couldn't find any more uh, data PIDs, but like I said, I'm just getting used to this tool because there's a lot of stuff that's in it I mean the stuff it does is unbelievable um, so I'm still kind of getting used to it testing on a few cars to see what it can and can't do um, but we can give you like a, like I said I will be doing another overview on this um, but this particular one does um, obviously does you know your OBD2 data it does your uh, factory data updates are so easy just press a button but reset so this can actually uh reset the parking brakes oil lights uh oil yeah or service lights um you know here's your bleeding for your um abs modules um it can learn gearing dpf regen tpms sensors injectors i mean it, it's unreal what this can actually do you know reset batteries it you know it really is i'm going to go through it a lot more in another video this was just happened to be because i quickly plugged this in and i wanted to see what the code was and what we could do unfortunately it looks like it was a fairly simple one even though that copper wire shouldn't be there but for the time being i'm going to leave it there and take it for a test drive and see and if it doesn't come back on then we know we're okay and that was our problem um so yeah, the next thing I would be doing, even though I can't really hear it, is a vacuum, um, is um, a smoke test. Um, but I can't hear any any hissing or any leaks coming from the turbo pipes or anything like that. And like I said, even though the car was driving perfectly. So let me take this for a test drive and see exactly what it's doing. So we just go into the oil reset. And once you pick the vehicle you're on, depending on the vehicle, some you can obviously reset by just pressing a button on this but some you have to press buttons inside the car and the other good thing about this is it will actually show you how to do it if you're unsure so in this case we do a manual reset and we just got to select which car and this is a Mondeo and the year of it and then boom it tells you exactly how to reset the service light now if it doesn't tell you you'll be able to press a button and it will automatically do it for you but in this case we need to press you know uh well it'll tell you that the the brake switch and the accelerator i think yeah the accelerator and brake and it tells you how to actually do it which is really handy you know this information is is fantastic and it's all built in to the machine but like i said i will be going through kind of a lot more in another video okay so we just took it for a drive we've done a full scan i've just pressed the wrong button gone into the wrong menu um let's just go out you see no more fault codes has come up on the car engine light is still off And there we go we're okay cars driving absolutely perfect so um i'm gonna monitor it um i was kind of hoping for a little bit more on it but it was a nice easy one as it turns out i was hoping for more of a juicy repair and i will be going through this tool like i said a lot more um, in another video this was just because I just happened to plug it in and I said I'd quickly do it we've got all one year button down here you know we can take screenshots um, it's just really the stuff it can do I am really you know I must admit it, it is impressive we can press or well, that's the automatic bin there you know the monitors it can And 
and there we go just by pressing the monitor button it'll automatically go into uh, the monitor situation which is completed which isn't and all that um, to do, to do. but we're okay so yeah I will be going through this in a lot more detail um, but at the minute I must admit I do like it so there we go that's the uh, under boost problem on this Ford Mondeo. So look, hope it helps. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. All the usual. Don't forget all the links down below up here to my Patreon, to my Facebook, to my Instagram. But most importantly, don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one. Sorted.